Hello everybody, it's Mama Shar here. Welcome back to a brand new video on this channel. And today, we are going over the breast augmentation. As of the now that I'm recording this, I have about 14 hours before I go into surgery. And I'm very excited. I'm very excited. Uh, a lot of people that go through something like this are usually nervous because complications, something that might not go right. And to me, I just hope nothing but the best. And that's what I feel like I'm going to get. I feel like as long as I pray, as long as my Charlotte tears are here for me, I will nothing will go wrong. Um, if you guys don't know, I'm going for 400 cc's. Uh, it's going to be um, basically a natural size for my chest size. So um, right now it's my boobs here. Nothing like insane. In fact, if anything, the bra is what making it more bigger. But when I'm done, it's most likely going to be like around that size. Um, it's how big my my um, rib cage is. So um, I'm very much excited. If you guys don't know, this is actually my first ever surgery. Good reason why I'm very nerv a little bit nervous is because of anesthesia. Uh, anesthesia. Anesthesia, and I, I really don't know how it works. I'm afraid of falling asleep and never waking up. That's a, a fear of mine, <laughs> especially when it comes to medication making you fall asleep like that. So, uh, but hopefully everything goes good. I'm gonna be doing a lot of prepping tonight. I'm gonna be cleaning my body. I'm gonna be, well, I mean, I clean my body every day, but you know, I'll be extra cleaning. I'll be taking out my earrings, my piercings, stuff like that, and making my body perfectly well and good to be worked on tomorrow. Uh, but yes, I will be streaming. Uh, I will be streaming tomorrow morning. I'll also be streaming tomorrow after the, the the augmentation. I'm also going to be recording some of the stuff. Okay, so guys, gotta be there. Be there or be square. Please be there. Uh, this is my first ever surgery, and not only for that, but for my uh, transition. I, if you guys don't know, I've gone my braces recently, and now this is the next phase to my transition, and that's my breast augmentation. After this. We're looking at SRS, and then after SRS, we're looking at FS, and after that, possibly a Brazilian. Depends. A lot of people like mistake that I'm getting these surgeries and getting them paid for as a, a a fact that I have money, and that's not the case. Otherwise, I would have had these surgeries a long time ago, or I'd still be working for them. The reality of the fact is, I'm getting them paid for because you know benefits. I think. All this stuff happens because benefits are there for trans people nowadays. It's much different of a world what we're living in. Not completely different, but there are, uh, people are offering benefits for trans people nowadays much more than they were back then. And because of that reason, I'm getting my breast augmentations uh, covered. Uh, also, if you guys want to know how that happened, I made a video on YouTube on that. I'll be linking in the description on how I got how you can get your surgeries paid for. So. Um, this isn't about, you know, the, 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 there's a problem about transitioning is people think that everything is about privilege. Everything is about, oh, uh, you know, you must pay for your own surgeries. And, you know, people don't take it as seriously. As long as you're not dying on the, on the, on the operating bed, you shouldn't have to pay for it. And I think there's a lot of things in life that should be paid for that they don't pay for. Uh, and I think there's stuff that shouldn't be paid for, but they do pay for the re end of the day, I think, is if it affects you enough to where you can make you kill yourself or suicidal thoughts or depression, it should be paid for. And that's exactly what all these surgeries are doing for me. They're preventing me from being depressed about my, my own body. And I know it's a lot of things to say off of this because a lot of people don't like to hear, oh, depression. That's just, you're just making that up and you're just adding stuff that you shouldn't be adding. Like, make, um, basically saying crazy things that are not really true. And that's not the truth. I have, I do feel uncomfortable with my body in a lot of ways. A lot of people think, oh, Charlotte posts up all these pictures of her ass and everything about her. Oh, you know, she has curves and all that stuff. There's no way she can be gender, uh, she can be dysphoric. There's a lot of things I'm dysphoric about, guys. You'll be surprised. Just because I post pictures about myself doesn't necessarily mean I'm not dysphoric about a lot of things. There's a lot of things I'm dysphoric, dysphoric about and I will. I want you guys to understand these surgeries are only doing what I need to do to perfect everything that I was doing and for me to sculpt out the body that I was supposed to be given. Now, to be happy in life and not be depressed about yourself, you shouldn't have to pay thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars in your pocket for that. But with that being said, I don't want to keep you guys going for too long. Uh, this is just the beginning. I hope you guys do enjoy the rest of this uh, video. 
uh, if you guys do, give it a like, and if you guys can, please subscribe and become a shout out today. Thank you so much, and hope you guys enjoy the video. Oh my god, I'm up, and it's fucking early. It's like 6 o'clock, but I have to take my, um, morning bath or shower or whatever so that I can be clean for the surgeon. But, um... It's crazy. Two and a half hours and I'll be in the the doctor's room. <sighs> Wish me luck, guys. Wish me luck. So, uh, now we're on our way to the doctor's office. We're gonna go get myself prepped up and everything. And I'm here with my sister. Um, I'm here with uh, a good family member of ours, Jesus. And they're helping me record. They're gonna be there for support and stuff like that. Uh, unfortunately, I can't take you guys into the operating room with me because of the fact that there's no recording uh, allowed or anything. And I really wish I could do that. But of course, you guys will see the after result and that's all that really matters. To, uh, I mean, I'm sure um, a lot to you, to a lot of you guys, I'm sure that's all that really matters. So um, yeah, I'm just very excited right now. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys later. We are here at the Loveless Women's Hospital, as you guys can tell from behind me. Uh, we are finally here, though. It's been amazing. I forgot some cards at home, so we're a little late, but it's okay. We're going to be getting ready for prep, all that stuff. And now, I'm just, it's been a long time coming, and I'm so, so happy. I'm so excited. I want to give a give a big shout out to my Charlotteers, my Patreon Charlotteers, my Foot Charlotteers, my Instagram Charlotteers, my Snapchat, and my Facebook Charlotteers. And I'll see you guys later. So we are here in the waiting room right now. Um, got my car, my wristband, and yeah, still here with my sister. Here with another family member, my Jesus. And I'm freaking excited. Like I know I told you guys this many times, but like we're like I can't believe I'm actually here doing this. I just can't. And I know I'm trying to be a little quiet because. There are people in here all over the place, so I don't want to feel weird. But yeah. Hello, everybody. I'm now in the pre op room, or basically, I'm, I've, I've been prepped up. As you guys can see, I'm an IV here. They swab my nose for like, to prevent MRSA or whatever, and took all kinds of vitals. But I am so, um, yeah, so basically, I'm going through a lot of stuff. Uh, but next time you guys see me, it's probably whenever I'm gonna be getting out of the operating room and I'm gonna be strolling on my way out. Um, I really wish I could take you guys in there with me, that'd be so cool, but they won't let me, so stuff like that has to be in private. Um, but you guys will, I mean, you guys will be able to see the results, so it's all that really matters, right? So I'll see you guys later. Getting ready to get the tot tot done. Tot tot done. Tot tot done. So. That time of day. Kisses and hugs, high fives. We're going to roll to the back. So, an attractive party hat on. Yes, you still So, if you want a picture with the party hat on, just give me a second. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that would be great too. Just go ahead and pull your hair up and we'll get it tucked yeah, together. Do you want to go shopping? My idea is in a. My gosh, you didn't come right back? We can't leave the place. See? So, I mean, probably uh -huh. could. Oh, there hair. we go. Nope, you're good right there. Wow. I got five bucks. There you go, party hat picture. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Alright. Bye, Charlotte. Cheers. I'll see you when I get out. <laughs> Alright. I'm Holly. We're going to do a quick timeout, okay? Can you tell me your first and last name? Charlotte Sykes. Okay, what's your date of birth? December 28th, 1994. And what is Dr. Shmonic doing for you today? Doing a breast augmentation now today. Okay. Any allergies to any medications? No, not at all. And consent is signed? Consent is signed. Blood consent is signed. Anesthesia consent is Awesome. Thank you. Thank you, You're Thank you so much. <laughs> Just 
Day number two of just kind of like everything. Boobs are doing really good. A lot of the tightness in my chest has kind of like gone away. Um, but I'm taking my prescriptions for it. Hopefully everything works out the way I want it to. I'm excited, guys. Nothing but good times to come. And yeah, I'll see you guys uh, a little bit later. Okay, so day number three, I'm actually doing a lot more better. I can, I'm mobile, more mobile. I was mobile yesterday, but I'm like a lot more mobile today. Um, those, I still have the same bra on. Of course, I'm going to be wearing it until I heal and stuff like that. But um, after I'm done with all that stuff, I'm going to put on my bikini. And I want you guys to see how it looks from my bikini. But right now, like, the boobs are, like, very, very stiff. And almost, like, like they, they're not movable or anything. So, but it's going to take a little while for that to happen. And you guys will be the first to see that when that does. So I'm not going to be uploading any videos for a while. So I'll be doing live streams just because I do want to make this video the next one that I upload. So it's going to take a while. See you guys later. Hello, everybody. Okay, so basically, I'm glad you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the footage beforehand. Um, I'm sorry about my luck. I look like shit today. Uh, I just threw my hair up in a messy bun and all that stuff, but... I have gone through a heck of a lot in the last couple days and I want to let you guys know exactly how it's been. So the recovery process for my breast augmentation hasn't been as slow as I thought it was going to be. Actually, it's been a lot faster. Uh, I've actually was able to walk around normally on the second, by the second day of recovery. Uh, the first night I couldn't get up for over like five minutes without feeling like I needed to throw up, whatever. I don't know if it's from the anesthesia, whatever. Now I've actually been able to go out and do things. Uh, I don't do too much because I just don't want to, I want to rest a little more. I know you guys probably have noticed that I have been more active on social media since then. Um, but my goal is to show you guys my entire journey, no matter what's going on. So if I'm recovering, I'm going to live stream it for you guys. Okay. Um, when it comes to breast, the breast augmentation, my chest hurt, uh, is like very, very stiff. I guess you can say it's very, very like almost like a like hard like it's hard to, to like it doesn't have any gentleness anymore it's because the, the the muscle everything around in my breast area is been stretched uh stretched uh to a capacity that i have to wait for everything to kind of like fall into place if that makes any sense at all um i have changed my sports bra twice or uh, once uh one for my black and white one and this one from my sister that gave me this one um, I would show you guys, but there's no other girls in the house to help me change and my arms cannot go up to take this thing off So it's next to impossible to take this the down bra off without any help. So, um, but yeah, I Have it's been a fucking nice ride and I'm thankful to every one of you guys shout out tears that have been commenting messaging me uh, liking my stuff hearting my stuff and wishing me a happy uh, a good recovery because I mean, it's all that matters, right? I want to do a quick shout out to my patrons. Uh, 
thank you for my patrons, the ones that have been do donating because of you guys. I will be surviving the next two weeks. It'll pay for my bills and that's it, but I will be still surviving and that's all that matters. So uh, I'm gonna let you guys know, this is what my, my results are. So pardon my, my, my unready self, but this is my boobs. These are actually, my boobs are actually filling out the C-cut bra a lot. So yeah, they're very, very stiff right now. The, in, the incision was made under the bra, uh, the boob, uh, the best I got, which is uh, a more of a common practice. But yeah, this is, I would totally be wearing like no bra right now if I could for you guys, but but I really couldn't even just take off my, my bra because there's nothing but guys here and I can't take it off myself. and. That's just a simple fact here. So, um, but I hope you guys did enjoy the video and enjoy everything that happens throughout the process. Uh, I could, I'm sorry I couldn't record too much stuff because a lot of things were confidential. I couldn't do it because of, you know, law and all that stuff. But I did get that video coverage of me going into the room, coming out, and I looked fucked up. Like, literally fucked up, guys. Like, don't laugh at me how fucked up I looked. I looked like I just, like, I was a homeless person. <laughs> It was bad. It was real bad, but one chapter of our transition has been closed, and that is the breast amputation. Next chapter is vagina. And girl, we have a big way to go. Let's get this channel to 3,600 subscribers. Heck, let's get this channel to 4,000 subscribers. Um, anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you guys did, leave it a like, and if you guys can, please subscribe. If you have not become a shot here today, become a shot here. Also, destroy the notification bell so you guys can be notified every time I go live on YouTube or upload on YouTube. And also, support me by donating to my GoFundMe, uh, my uh, Patreon and becoming a patron, and or buying my book, Apple Mia, on uh, so, uh, certain stores like Barnes Noble, Amazon, uh, iBooks, or Google Play, Kobo. Um, anyways, guys, I'm on my channel, here's my shot, cheers, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.